In Etruscan Places, D. H. Lawrence wrote The Etruscans, as everyone knows, were the people who occupied the middle of Italy in early Roman days and whom the Romans, in their usual neighborly fashion, wiped out entirely in order to make room for Rome with a very big R. They couldn't have wiped them all out, there were too many of them, but they did wipe out the Etruscan existence as a nation and a people. However, this seems to be the inevitable result of expansion with a big E, which is the sole raison d'être of people like the Romans. Now, we know nothing about the Etruscans, except what we find in their tombs. There are references to them in Latin writers, but of first-hand knowledge we have nothing except what the tombs offer. So, to the tombs we must go, or to the museums containing the things that have been rifled from the tombs. Myself, the first time I consciously saw Etruscan things in the museum at Perugia, I was instinctively attracted to them, and it seems to be that way. Either there is instant sympathy or instant contempt and indifference. Most people despise everything BC that isn't Greek, for the good reason that it ought to be Greek if it isn't. So, Etruscan things are put down as a feeble Greek or Roman imitation, and a great scientific historian like Momsin hardly allows that the Etruscan existed at all. Their existence was antipathetic to him. The Prussian in him was enthralled by the Prussian in the all-conquering Romans. So, being a great scientific historian, he almost denies the very existence of the Etruscan people. He didn't like the idea of them. That was enough for a great scientific historian. Besides, the Etruscans were vicious. We know it because their enemies and exterminators said so just as we knew the unspeakable depth of our enemies in the late war. Who is ambitious to his enemy? To my detractors, I am a very effigy of vice, a la bonne heure. However, those pure, clean-living, sweet-souled Romans who smashed nation after nation and crushed the free soul in people after people and were ruled by Messalina and Heliogabalus and such like snowdrops, they said the Etruscans were vicious. So, basta. Quand le maître parle, tous les mots The Etruscans were vicious. The only vicious people in the face of the earth, presumably. You and I, dear reader, we are two unsolid snowflakes, aren't we? We have every right to judge. Myself, however, if the Etruscans were vicious, I'm glad they were. To the Puritan, all things are impure, as somebody says. And those naughty neighbors of the Romans at least escaped being Puritans. But to the tombs, to the tombs, 